You know, with child care costs skyrocketing, more and more people are just clocking out for good. News Channel 5's Araceli Crescencio tells us how one organization is working to change that. Can we try it right here? Child care in Tennessee can cost thousands of dollars. It's a reality that forces some parents to quit working or only work part time. We know that women re-entering the workforce after having children or perhaps a young mother trying to go back to school, we know that that child care is a huge barrier for women to make that leap. Child care is enormously expensive. Sarah Daly with the nonprofit Women in Technology of Tennessee says during the pandemic, many mothers left the workforce and they're now working to bring them back. We're hoping just to ease the burden a little bit. It just a small amount can make a difference into getting back into the workforce. If a woman is trying to get back in and you're having to enter, you're having to put your children in childcare, that's money up front you have to spend where you might not have that income coming in. For the first time ever, in addition to their other scholarships that promote women in tech, they've added funding for child care grants. I think really what's happened is 2020 happened and we saw so many women leave the workforce and child care becomes such a huge problem uh, with the rising cost of it that we finally said, OK, it's time for us to do something. WIT will be dedicating $15,000 a year to child care grants. Female applicants must be pursuing education, career development, or employment in the tech field and have their child enrolled in a child care agency licensed in Tennessee. It is about helping the next generation, helping the next workforce to ease that burden of coming in a little bit more. Daly says the goal is to increase the amount of grants they're able to award every year. In Nashville, Araceli Crescencio, News Channel 5. The grants will be awarded four times a year. The deadline for the first round of applications is due by the end of this month. And you can find out more information on how to apply on our website.